What's poppin' y'all? Welcome to my tier list of all the Mystic Sword enchants in the Hypixel Pit. Mystic Swords can be enchanted to have up to three custom enchants. These enchants are unique to the pit, although there are many effects similar to what you might find in Hypixel's most popular game, Skyblock. Each enchant has three tiers, tier 1 being the worst and tier 3 being the best. Instead of going over each tier, I will try and focus more on the third tier of each item. Usually the only thing that changes between each tier is a higher number, so instead of saying each tier, I will simply say X for any variable numbers. In this tier list, I'm going to be going over my thoughts on each enchant, how well they combine with other enchants and the general uses, and then I will assign them a rank from S through F. Let's jump right into this. Starting off, we have Beat the Spammers. This enchant deals X% percent damage versus players holding a bow. I feel like this enchant is extremely situational as usually whenever you get close to players using bows, they will just switch to their sword. This makes it hard for this extra damage to be justified as you will probably only get one to two hits on the person before they switch to a different item. Due to this very specific requirement, I'm gonna have to put Beat the Spammers into the D tier. Next we have Berserker. This enchant allows users to critically hit when they are on the ground. Users have an X% percent chance to crit for 50% extra damage. Berserker seems good on paper, but in use, the low percent chance for this effect to occur is actually quite a big downside. Even with the third tier, you only have a 30% chance for this effect to happen. This unpredictability definitely makes it a weaker enchant C tier. Next, we have our first rare, Billionaire. With this enchant, hits deal X times damage, but cost X amount of gold. The absolute raw damage this enchant outputs is insane. Not only are you dealing up to two times the damage, but when combined with other enchants, it is extremely easy to find yourself with a god tier item. One legendary combination is the Billionaire 3 and Lifesteal 3 combination, which are one of the most sought after mystics in the entire game. Obviously, the main downside is that you need to have a copious amount of gold to fully utilize the effects. S tier. Next, we have the enchant to Bounty Reaper. This enchant deals X% percent damage versus players with a bounty. Obviously, this enchant is primarily used for hunting. The amount of damage this enchant does is a little underwhelming as it only goes up to 20% more damage. This makes the enchant fall a little short as there are way better alternatives that are much more useful in every scenario. While this enchant isn't bad, it definitely isn't the best either. C tier. Next, we have the enchant Bruiser. With this enchant, blocking with your sword reduces received damage by X hearts. Personally, I like this enchant quite a bit. This sword is great for tanking a ton of hits from someone. Combining this sword with some of the many perks and items in the pit, you can easily come close to receiving almost no damage when holding down block. For example, when simply combined with the perk Dirty, which grants resistance to 1 kills, while wearing an Archangel chestplate, that is the equivalent of a Prot 4 chestplate, and wearing Mystic Pants with damage reduction effects, it allows the user to take almost zero damage. This can be extremely useful when fighting cheaters, as a lot of the time you're just trying to delay the cheater into using up their healing so you can kill them. Due to the combos you can do with other items, I'm going to put this enchant into the B tier. Next we have the enchant Bullet Time. With this enchant, blocking destroys arrows that hit you. Destroying arrows this way heals X amount of hearts. This enchant is extremely situational. First, you need to have the reaction time of seeing someone shooting at you, which you would then switch to your bullet time sword, in which you would have to block, and maybe you would block one or two shots. Not the best, but this enchant has one combination that makes it decent. By getting yourself a volley bow, you can shoot multiple arrows into the air, which gives decent healing with bullet time. Unfortunately, this is the only decent combination with this enchant, and there are way better ways to heal. D tier. Next, we have the enchant combo damage. With this enchant, every X amount of strikes deals plus X percent damage. Personally, I love this enchant. It allows a consistent way to do a considerable amount of damage. The amount of damage it deals is also above average, even when it is only tier two. Combined with some other damage enchants, you have an amazing sword, A tier. Next, we have the enchant combo heal. With this enchant, every fourth strike heals X amount of hearts and grants X hearts of absorption. This enchant is like a more defensive version of combo damage. It allows for a constant supply of healing and absorption, but the downside is that the amount of healing you receive is a little low. B tier. Next, we have the lightning stick itself, rare enchant Perun's Wrath. With this enchant, every X amount of strikes strikes your enemy with a lightning strike that does X amount of true damage. Unlike most enchants, the third tier of Perun's Wrath is almost completely different to the other tiers. While tier 1 and 2 deal a constant amount of damage, tier 3 is primarily for killing users in diamond armor. This radical shift in use can be quite confusing, as tier 1 and tier 2 are used for going on long streaks, while tier 3 focuses more on hunting. Mainly, people use tier 2 as it is always a constant amount of damage. Even though the tiers are a little strange, I'm still going to put Perun's Wrath into the S tier. 
Next we have the rare enchant, Combo Stun. With this enchant, every fifth strike on an enemy stuns them for X amount of seconds. The stun is basically mining fatigue and slowness, and it's pretty annoying to fight against as the FOV is just going nuts whenever you get like slowness for half a second. Also, when you stun someone, it does like this, this like clangy noise. Oh, I love the clangy noise that it's like a blank B tier. Next we have the enchant combo swift. With this enchant, every X strike gives speed X for X amount of seconds. This enchant can be good, but there are way better ways to get speed, such as using the enchant faster than their shadow, which is a bow enchant that can grant speed 4. That being said, it is quite useful for 1v1s, as with speed 2, you are much more likely to land multiple hits on your enemy before they can hit you back. It is also decent for chasing down opponents, as you will have a constant supply of speed 2. B tier. Next we have the enchant to combo XP. With this enchant, every fifth strike rewards plus X XP. This enchant used to have a glitch where if two users were wearing Unite Pants, by using a combo XP sword, you could gain XP without damaging the other player. This was recently patched, and with this patch, the only main use for this enchant died with that update. The XP gained is extremely minuscule in comparison to more efficient ways of getting XP, such as by using the Sweaty enchant, D tier. Next we have the enchant Counter Janitor. With this enchant, the user Gains resist resistance one on kill. Know your fucking place, trash. Just use dirty F tier. Next we have the enchant critically crit critically rich. With this with this enchant you gain plus X gold per cr with with tier three it's six gold. You six gold? You can get more you can get more gold from fishing. F tier. Next we have the enchant Crush. With this enchant, strikes apply weakness X for X amount of seconds, 2 second cooldown. This enchant has so much potential, but in use it is quite embarrassing to say the least. When fighting an opponent with this enchant, the weakness it applies is way too short of a time for it to actually be useful. Even when fully utilized, you'll only end up reducing the damage of 1 or 2 hits, if that. C tier. Next we have the enchant Diamond Stomp. With this enchant, deal plus X percent damage versus players wearing diamond armor. This enchant is primarily used for hunting and for 1v1s, as usually players with bounties or god sets use diamond armor. The amount of damage is decent, especially since it will be affecting every strike. B tier. Next we have the enchant Duelist. This enchant is actually above average as long as you remember to use it. It was recently buffed with the healing factor, and I don't think many people actually have seen it in effect. The damage buff is also shockingly high, as for tier 3 it is 75% more damage. That's almost double damage. The healing factor is also decent, as it is basically reducing the amount of damage you'd receive when blocking. I'm gonna put Duelist into the B tier, but Duelist 3 deserves A tier. Next we have the rare enchant, Executioner. With this enchant, hitting an enemy below X hearts instantly kills them. This enchant is one of the best enchants for getting an insane amount of kills. X C extremely quickly. Okay, I need to stop with puns. With the instant kill effect, your kills almost never get stolen. This makes it one of the best enchants to combine with Sweaty or Mock Dezuma. I use this in all of my god sets to kill non-prestige players, and in god fights to instantly finish the fight when the opponent is low. A tier. The next enchant is Fancy Raider. With this enchant, users deal a plus X percent damage versus players wearing leather armor. This enchant is a solid damage boost, as most players will always be wearing leather armor, as Mystic Pants count as leather, as do leather helmets from the Fancy Hat Renown upgrade. Unfortunately, the percent increase of damage is significantly lower than other buffs, such as Diamond Stomp. Because of this low damage, I'm going to put Fancy Raider into the C tier. Next is the rare enchant, Gamble. With this enchant, users have a 50% chance to deal X amount of true damage to the opponent or to the user. This is probably one of the most inconsistent damage enchants in the pit. It's literally... Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? If you get extremely lucky, you can take down a godset user on only a few hits. But on the flip side, if you are a bit unlucky, you're gonna find yourself dead in no time. Gamble 1 is usually used for streaking, but 2 and 3 are really only used for hunting. Even though it is inconsistent, the damage output is insane, making it one of the most effective ways to hunt high prestige players. A tier. Next is the enchant Golden Boosted. With this enchant, users deal plus X percent damage when they have absorption hearts. This enchant seems good, but in use, it is easy to see how little it helps. The main time you want to deal a ton of damage is when you're either in a 1v1 or you're hunting someone. Unfortunately, when you are in a 1v1 or hunting, a lot of the time you will not be at max health. Luckily, this enchant combos extremely well with a lot of different enchants, such as combo heal and respawn absorption. C tier. 
Next is the enchant Gold Boost. With this enchant, users earn plus X percent gold from kills. This seems very good, but in reality, the amount of gold you're getting is quite small compared to other enchants. But combined with other gold gaining enchants, it can quickly become extremely valuable. Without the other enchants though, this enchant is pretty useless. C tier. Next is the enchant Gold Bump. With this enchant, users gain plus X gold per kill. Know your fucking place, trash. Just, just use Moctezuma. C tier. Next is the enchant Grasshopper. With this enchant, users deal plus X percent damage when they or their victim are standing on grass. Ah yes, because we all only PvP on grass. <laughs> Next is the enchant Guts. With this enchant, it heals X hearts on kill. This enchant is basically like if the upgrade Tenacity was on a sword. Tenacity is decent and so is this enchant. B tier. Next is the rare enchant Healer. With this enchant, hitting players heals both you and them for X hearts. This enchant is extremely useful for healing teammates, but if you want a sword that will heal yourself, just use the enchant Lifesteal 3. It doesn't heal your opponent. C tier. Next is the rare enchant Hemorrhage. With this enchant, strikes bleed enemies for 4 seconds, stopping them from gaining absorption hearts and slowing them with an X second cooldown. The slowness it applies is more of an annoyance than anything, but stopping absorption hearts can be an effective way to drive someone out of middle, as usually players streaking a middle will always have absorption hearts. It's a tiny bit situational, as fighting a player using vampire will put the user at a big disadvantage, as when it isn't removing absorption hearts, it's basically useless. B tier. Next is the enchant King Buster. This enchant deals plus X percent damage versus players above 50% HP. This enchant is just a great damage source, 20% damage is decent, and it can be a good way to get enemies lower. Just a nice flat damage upgrade. B tier. Next we have the rare enchant, Knockback. This sword knocks people back. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I need to explain this one. I mean, it, it's good for uh, knock, knocking people back, and it's uh, good for hitting people away. But where it really shines is when it makes it so you you don't have you don't have to fight anyone. Uh The next enchant is Life Steal. This enchant heals X percent of damage dealt. Holy smokes is this enchant good. Not only is it a great way to get health back, but it is one of the most compatible enchants to combine with others. Any damage upgrade is significantly improved with the addition of Life Steal A tier. The next enchant is Moctezuma. This enchant grants plus X gold on kills. It's like Gold Bump, but just better in every single way. Yay! A tier. The next enchant is Pain Focus. This enchant deals plus X percent damage per heart the user is missing. This enchant is really good in Rage Pit, as the maximum amount of hearts you have doubles. It also combines really well with Life Steal, but unfortunately is quite situational. B tier. The next enchant is Pants Radar. This enchant makes it so pants, golden swords, and enchanted bows drop plus X percent more frequently. Just... just get Mysticism 10. No one really knows how often Mystic drops happen, and I don't think a 90% increase will matter that much when the Renown upgrade gives like a 200% increase. D tier. The next enchant is Pit Pocket. Ooh ooh, me monkey, me steal gold, yoink! D tier. The next enchant is Punisher. This enchant deals plus X percent damage versus players below 50% HP. This enchant is like King Buster, except flipped. Combined with Executioner, it is extremely good. C tier. The next enchant is Revengeance. Ooh ooh, me monkey, me want kill person who killed me. F tier. The next enchant is Shark. This enchant deals plus X percent damage per other player below 6 hearts in a 12 block radius. This enchant is extremely useful for Rage Pit as it allows users to deal massive amounts of damage. It is also decent for streaking in middle as players are tightly compacted. A tier. The next enchant is Sharp. This enchant just deals plus X percent melee damage. This enchant is just a flat damage upgrade, but unfortunately the amount it increases is minuscule. There are way better damage upgrades. C tier. The next enchant is Sierra. This enchant earns the user plus X gold per diamond piece your victim wears. If you want gold, just mock Dezuma Streak. This is probably one of the most ineffective ways to get gold in the pit. F tier. Gar garbage, garbage tier. The next enchant is Speedy Hit. Wait, 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 wait. I've, I've just been told that this is apparently a, a, a rare enchant? Wait, no, that can't be right. Hey, Tony! Is it a... a... He, he said yes. How the, how the fuck is... 
there's a non-rare enchant that gives speed. Speed to... What? What? Why? F tier. The next enchant is speedy. Wait. Didn't I just go... Wait, this one is somehow even... What is hap- The next enchant is Sweaty. This enchant earns the user plus X percent XP from streak XP bonus and X percent max XP per kill. This enchant is super, super, super good at getting insane amounts of XP. You can easily reach plus 200 or more XP per kill by using a Sweaty 3 sword and a Sweaty 3 pants. Combined with certain mega streaks and perks such as Streaker, it easily becomes one of the most efficient ways to gain XP in the entirety of Pit. A tier. The next enchant is one of my favorite ra- We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Have you ever wanted to become an astronaut? Do you like being a troll? Do you like smacking people so hard with a gold stick that they go to space? space. Then the punch a stick is for you. The punch is an enchant that makes people go to space. space. The different levels of the punch reduce the cooldown. So level 1 has a 30 second cooldown, level 2 has a 25 second cooldown, and level 3 has, haha, you guessed it, a 20 second cooldown. The punch is good for getting rid of bounty hunters and showing people that they can be astronauts. So little Billy, what do you want to be when you grow up? A cowboy. What, what did you just say? A cowboy? S tier, hell yeah! You go, you send them to space, and then and then become astronaut, and then oh, the next enchant is XP boost. This enchant earns the user plus X percent XP from kills. Just use sweaty. Forehead D tier. The next enchant is XP bump. This enchant earns the user plus X XP from kills. Just use sweaty. Forehead D tier. And that's all the swords. If you want to see me do a tier list on the bows and pants, just prune that motherfucking sub button. Hell yeah. I'm the trash man. Sans? Oh my god, are you gay? Are you gay? Are you gay? Are you gay? Uh, oh yeah, by the way, I got a security ban for 30 days. Uh, what a great server.